Ground currently has 22 mutations that can be unlocked either by performing specific actions, by discovering various landmarks, or by purchasing them from Burgle. A maximum of three mutations can be activated at any one time. Many of the 22 mutations are rarely, if ever, used because the buff they provide is either super situational or just not worth taking up one of the three precious active slots, and that is why I'm making this video. In this video, I'm going to offer a solution that should result in more mutations being used more often, as well as make unlocking many of them feel more rewarding. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. So the way the mutations currently work, as I mentioned, is you can have up to three of them activated at any time. So this is my character on my main survival world. I currently have all 22 mutations that are in the game unlocked, and I can activate up to three of them at a time. So I can just pick three random ones or whatever, depending on the situation I'm in. But the problem that I found is what I end up typically doing is I pretty much use the same couple of mutations. And what it ends up doing is it results in most of these mutations just not being used at all. Uh, unless you're like I, like I was saying earlier, it's a super situational situation. For example, you're not going to use Grassmaster unless you're cutting down grass. You're not going to use Rock Cracker unless you're busting rocks or uh, shoveling some clay. You're not going to lose Mertine unless you're underwater. Probably not going to use Fresh Defense unless you are fighting sink bugs or bombardier beetles. And I don't know when you would ever use Reliable Friend because how often are you in a situation where you would have to revive your friend in a very quick, very quick manner instead of just doing it? Ant Annihilator, another one I pretty much never use just because ants are pretty easy to take care of, especially when you're pretty geared up. So what ends up happening is I pretty much 100% of the time have Mithridatism equipped because that's the most useful mutation in the game, in my opinion. It'll protect you from wolf spider poison. So if you get hit by the wolf spider poison, you're not going to insta die. And then normally I'm using Natural Explorer and probably Cardio Fan just because those two allow you to maintain your stamina and run across the yard faster. But then what ends up happening is depending on what's going on, of course, if I'm in the pond, I might use Martine. If I'm using, uh, maybe I'm doing a crit build with... Um, the stinger spear i might use coop the coop the grass and then occasionally i might use like i use meat shield in a super situational uh scenario such as fighting the brood mother buff lungs buff lungs is one i might also use i pretty much never use daredevil and then these other ones are basically weapons so like for example if i'm using an axe then i might use the chopper what ends up happening is i typically have barbarian on because i'm usually using the mint mace or the uh the club of the mother demon so more likely than not, I probably won't have Natural Explorer, and I'll probably just have Cardio Fan, Barbarian, and Mithridatism. And what this ends up resulting is you just use very few of the mutations. At least I do, and I think a lot of other people probably are in the same scenario. So my suggestion for a new system would be, instead of having mutations only be able to be active or inactive, I think a large number of them should be able to be passive. So passive would mean that once you unlock it, it would mean it would it was it's automatically active no matter what. Then how would this work and why would it make sense? So some of the ones I think that should be passive would be like Lil Fist, Chopper, all these ones up here that are for the different weapons. The reason the way you unlock those is by uh, performing a repetitive task. So for example, for Chopper, you have to kill 50 insects to unlock level one, then 100 insects un unlock phase two, and then 200 insects to unlock phase three. So once you've done that, you've used the axe repeatedly. If you did that in real life, like let's say, for example, you were using an axe to chop a tree, you're going to gain strength from the axe, you're going to get better with the axe. You're not, you should, you're like, if you wait a day and come back the next day, you're not suddenly going to forget how to use the axe. Or if you pick up a, a hammer, you're not going to like suddenly not know how to use an axe. So the weapon buffs, because they involve doing repetitive actions and you're basically just training your skills with a weapon, it'd be no different than playing a sport. So if you played soccer and you played soccer all the time, or you played basketball and you played basketball all the time, if you play that, if you practice that sport and play it over and over again, more likely than not, you're going to get better at it. And that's just going to be a passive skill. There's not some switch you just turn on that says, oh, today I'm good at soccer, but tomorrow I'm not because I have my basketball skill on. So all the attack ones from Lil Chopper across the top row to the Barbarian, in my opinion, should be passive. So once you unlock them, they should just give you the extra damage because in reality, they don't really give that much extra damage anyway. Phase three on these only gives you an extra 30%. So it's 10% for phase one, 20% for phase two, and 30% for phase three. So it's not like it's giving you a super extra amount. And it takes quite a bit of a time to unlock all of these, especially if you want to unlock all, what is it, seven of them? It's going to take quite a bit of time. And most likely in the future, they're going to add one for the swords because currently the larva blade and the mosquito needle are not affected by any of the mutations. So it's likely they're going to add at least probably two more, but definitely that sword one. So you're going to have to unlock that one as well. So the other ones that I think, aside from the ones that you unlock by doing the, uh, by attacking, are going to be the other ones that require repetitive action. So Grassmaster. Once you've chopped down a bunch of grass, 
it'd be no different than in, in real life if you went from not doing any uh, outside work to suddenly you just started going around and chopping down lumber. So if you were a lumberjack, do you think a lumberjack who was using an actual axe will be able to cut down trees rapidly? Or do you think he's got to flip a switch on that says, look, I can cut down trees faster now, but tomorrow I can't because I don't have that activated. So the grass master, the rock cracker, those two require repetitive actions. And I think because they're kind of like muscle memory, it's just like kind of exercising, right? So like once you... Once you've done an exercise, if you exercise enough, if you lift weights or if you're just doing, performing specific exercise like running or something, like if I lift weights or do push-ups or whatever, I'm, my body's going to get stronger and I shouldn't have to like activate something. I don't need to take like an energy drink to make myself lift more. The energy drink will be a buff on top of it. So that's why I think these two should be also passive. The others that should be passive, in my opinion, will be Ant Annihilator. Again, this is a repetitive action. Ants are kind of weak in the game anyway. Maybe when they add the Black Ants, either in the next update or one, a future update after that, Maybe that would make a little less sense to have it be a passive buff. But in my opinion, because it involves you having to kill a ton of ants, then once you learn how to kill the ants, it'll be you'd be trained to be able to just do that over and over again. You should not have to have this activated. It should just be a passive. And then the others that I think would also make sense would be Natural Explorer, Cardio Fan, and Reliable Friend. The Reliable Friend falls under the category of doing the repetitive actions. Natural Explorer and Cardio Fan, to me, would make sense because... You're basically, you're, uh, you're unlocking them, and they, what they do is they allow you to either Natural Explorer lets you run faster, Cardio Fan gives you extra stamina. So what this would basically mean be like, imagine you're training for a marathon or a long-distance race. Maybe you're on a track team or something, or you're just training for like a 10K uh, run or something like that. Once you start training and building up to it, if you run every day or if you run a couple times a week or whatever and you hadn't run before, each day as you do it, you're going to get progressively faster. You're going to have more stamina. And over the course of time, once you unlock, once you reach your peak, it, you're just going to maintain that. So as long as you're still doing it, you're going to maintain it. So that's why I think these two would also make sense to have the same situation where they should be passive. And then Mertine's probably the one that I would say is I would be on the fence about just because Mertine has, it gives you the ability to swim faster and also hold your breath longer. So again, this could also be something that you train for because if you swim a lot, you're going to be able to swim faster than someone who doesn't swim at all, most likely. And the more you swim, the more likely you are to be able to swim faster and swim longer. And of course, the other part of it is the junior diver that's holding your breath longer. If you're, one, if you're someone who practices holding their breath while you're underwater because you're swimming a lot or you're just, you want to do it, you're going to be able to hold your breath longer. So now, like I, Martine, maybe I could see that being one that's not passive, but I think I would be on the fence about that one. Now, as for the rest of them, I think they should function the way they currently do. So what would end up happening is the ones that I just mentioned, so all the ones are all, so we'll just go through them real quick. Little Fist, Chopper, Smasher, Javelinier, Assassin, Sharpshooter, Barbarian, Grassmaster, Rockcracker, Ant Annihilator, Natural Explorer, Cardio Fan, and Reliable Friend. Those, I think, 100% should be passive, which means they'll, once you unlock, you get them. Martine, I could say I would be able to be willing to debate on whether or not that should be passive or you should have to activate it. But let's go through the rest of them and say why it wouldn't make sense. So Meat Shield gives you actually, gives you max health. I think it gives you 20% extra max health. Now to me, that's not something you would be able to just be able to do. Like you don't just suddenly get more health. You have in, in the game, you have a certain amount of health. This will be a buff. This will be akin to drinking like uh, um, a smoothie or putting on better armor. You're using something that would, that would increase a statistic, one of your stats. So Meat Shield, in my opinion, should have to be the ones that has to be activated. Same thing will go with Buff Lung. So this is your maximum amount of stamina. I guess this one could possibly go along the lines of like your training. But since we already have the one here down here with Stamina Fan, I think it would make more sense to have Buff Lungs be one that has to also be activated. And that would just increase your maximum amount of stamina. So basically, it would be saying like, Cardio fan's good up to a point. Like I can get to some amount of stamina. So imagine yourself in real life, you're able to run for a certain amount of distance or a certain amount of time, and then you just get tired. Equipping buff lungs would just say, okay, you've reached that level. Nope, now you have an extra like 20%. Now you can keep going further. So that should be a buff. Daredevil gives you fall defense. I don't see why that would be passive because I don't know how you cushion yourself unless you've somehow made yourself. Uh, I don't even know. So that would definitely, in my opinion, have to be one that you activate. Personally, I never use this one. I don't think I've ever actually even activated it. Coup de Gras gives you actual crit critical hit chance. This is another one that directly affects uh, a statistic. So I guess you could say maybe if you get your training with a weapon and you get really good with it, you could get better. You could have a better chance of getting critical hits. But in video games, critical hits are kind of like a bonus. So I would say Coup de Gras, the Coup de Gras would make more sense to be one that you actually have to activate. Juicy uh, makes you get less thirsty. 
again, I guess you could possibly train your body to do this, but I think this is another one that's just a straight buff that makes more sense of being something you have to activate. And then the others down here are going to be fresh defense. So the fresh defense defense gives you uh, extra damage resistance to the stink bug cloud and the acid from the bombardier beetles. In my opinion, this would make no sense of like just being able to resist it for no reason. This would be like, I guess this would be like akin to saying, um, instead of like, you don't want to get sunburnt, so you put suntan lotion on or you wear extra clothing or something, right? Or you like, so, or a hat, so you don't get sunburned. So that's kind of where I would see fresh defense. Mom's jeans is just summoning in the little baby spiders. This one definitely, in my, I don't think there's any argument about this one. There's no way this one should be passive. That wouldn't make any sense in my opinion. Last one's going to be Mithridatism. To me, that's going to be the same as fresh defense. Now, while there, you could be an argument that maybe after, like, a, let's say you get stung by a bee, and if you get stung by enough bees, eventually they just, it maybe doesn't hurt. I don't know. But I think these are another, this kind of fits on the uh, same situation as the fresh defense where it should have to be, you have to make the choice. Do you want to equip it or do you not want to equip it? And it would be akin to like putting on some kind of lotion or something that would pre prevent you from getting a poison on you. So that's kind of my, the way I think that it would make a better use of the mutations because since we only have 22, we're only using a maximum of three, three of them at any given time. So what's that? That's one out of every seven. That's like, so you're basically only using 14% of them. So you spend all this time unlocking all these mutations. And then what ends up happening is people fall into the tendency of most likely, at least from my experience and from the people I know that play the game, let me know if you're different, that you end up just using a select few of these. And then unless you're trying something out, like, like I said, if you're cutting grass down, oh yeah, you put grass master on, you start chopping the grass down. But then as soon as you're done chopping the grass down, you unequip it it would make more sense to be able to have passive and non-passive buffs. And I think that would open up the game a lot more. It would, it would allow you to have use a lot more of these buffs. So maybe you would, you'd be more likely to use some of these other ones that are less used, maybe such as Daredevil or uh, Juicy, stuff like that, that I think, in my opinion at least, they're much more... They're much. I, bet, I would assume if you looked at the, d the data, if the devs looked at the statistics, some of these are probably used almost never or very rarely, maybe in like specific circumstances. Like I said, like if you're fighting the brood mother, or if you're maybe hunting wolf spiders or something, or beetles, you might do so, you might use some of these like the fresh defensive methodatism. So what do you think about this new mutation system? Do you like it better than the current system? Or do you think the current way mutations are used is just fine? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button as it really helps my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.